For the longest time, Mortis was a brawler who could never find a good middle ground in Brawl Stars. He was either way too powerful or way too weak. In this video, I'm going to go through the entire history of Mortis in Brawl Stars from day one until his most recent addition. If you end up enjoying this video, then please subscribe because these take a really long time to make and I hope you enjoy. So Mortis was released in 2017 when the game first came out in beta, and at first he was an epic brawler, not a mythic, because mythic didn't exist in the game yet, and you all know how Mortis' coiled snake star power is. Well, he had that for every single attack. His range at the start of the game was more than double what it is right now. Not only that, but auto aim did not exist in the game back then, so at that point in the game, it was extremely hard to hit him. Because of this, Mortis' first balance change was a decrease to his range by 25%. The decrease of Mortis' range obviously made it a little bit easier for people to hit him, and it made it harder for him to approach people, but even after this change, he was still too powerful with his insane mobility, so so only two months later, he received a 100 health nerf, which at the time was more like a 400 health nerf. All of the numbers were different, so his max health was 800 instead of like 6,000. Either way, it was a pretty big health nerf. And only one month after that, still in 2017, Mortis's rarity was changed from epic to mythic because mythic was finally added to the game. But only a week and a half later, Mortis received another set of nerfs. He has received nothing but nerfs so far. Still at this point in the game, auto aim does not exist, so it's still really hard to hit him. And it was also still really easy for him to approach people because he still had really good range. So Brawl Stars did a test to see if they could fix him by reducing his movement speed from very fast to normal and that was a really interesting change and not only that but they also decreased his super range which wasn't a huge deal but it kept him from being able to snipe people and despite the fact that auto aim still did not exist it seemed that mortis was now in a more balanced state because his base stats were lower it was harder for him to approach people and players were overall just learning how to even hit him and finally, in December of 2017, the star power update came, and with that, Mortis got his first star power called Creepy Harvest, and at first, it was completely different than it is right now. When it first came out, it was super similar to how Gus's ability is right now, but when Mortis got a kill, it dropped a ghost on the ground, and anybody could pick that up at any time to heal about 1,000 health. But at first, it was 1,200, and that seemed to be a bit too much, so only a couple weeks later, they nerfed it from 1,200 to only 1,000. Then, a month later, Mortis got a massive massive balance change. It was almost a rework with how big it was. Mortis's health was increased by 400, and this is after the number change update, so these are more relevant numbers. His damage was increased by 160. His movement speed was increased to 700, so it wasn't as fast as it used to be, but it's in the middle ground now. And his dash range was cut down a lot. This was a controversial update for Mortis mains. His dash range felt unbelievably short. It was so difficult to approach people, and keep in mind, this was before Coiled Snake existed so approaching people was borderline impossible sometimes. So only a couple months later, they increased Mortis's range by about half of what they removed before, so it was still shorter, but not as short. After that initial balance change, Mortis was still proving to be a bit too weak, so they increased his health by 300 only a couple days later. Still, at this point in the game, Mortis did not have Coiled Snake, he had no way to approach people, and he stayed weak for a pretty long time. Until only a couple weeks later, he received another health buff, so he was becoming tankier and tankier with almost every single update. Making Mortis a mini tank seemed to make him a bit more viable, but his lack of mobility stayed true and it was always extremely difficult to even get in on your enemies because you're using ammo to get up to them and then you have to use ammo to hurt them. So only two months later, Mortis received a movement speed increase back to very fast how it originally was and that would be Mortis's last balance change for a really long time. Three months later, Mortis was remodeled and the Rockabilly Mortis skin was added, but this caused a massive controversy. So at first, Mortis had this really big top hat that everybody absolutely loved. But when Mortis was remodeled, they removed the top hat. And everybody was furious about that. Brawl Stars let it slide for a few months, and people were not being quiet about wanting the top hat back. So a few months later, they added the top hat skin that you all have for free in the game. And finally, seven months after his last balance change, he got another one. Mortis obviously was still pretty weak because he did not have Coiled Snake now, so it was still hard 
hard to approach people and he was more or less unviable still. So in this next change in 2019, Mortis's main attack and super damage were increased by 100 and Mortis's creepy harvest star power was changed to how it is now. But at the time, instead of healing him for only 1000, it healed him for 1800, which if you didn't know, is a lot of healing for getting a single kill. Brawl Stars gave it about a month to see if they should change anything and considering this was Mortis's first time being viable in a while, I agree that they did that, but he ended up being a bit too powerful so they decreased the healing from Creepy Harvest from 1800 to 1400 and that seemed to make him pretty balanced for a few months. In between his next balance changes, the Night Witch Mortis skin was added which to this day is still one of the least popular skins in the entire game and four months after his last balance change he received another one which was another attempt to make him faster without increasing his range. So Mortis's reload speed was increased by 0.1 second which is not a huge change in a retrospect but it is kind of big. And then one month later Brawl Stars had a last ditch effort to finally make his closing the gap problem better and their attempt at that was in the second star power update they added Coiled Snake which for a very long time was an ability that made or broke Mortis. With this ability Mortis was finally able to close the gap between himself and his enemies but Coiled Snake's range was a bit too far at first so not too long later they decreased its range from a 100% increase or double the range to 75%. So after giving him an ability to finally close the gap they had to nerf it really soon after because it was just too powerful. If Mortis can close gaps too easily he's broken. That's basically how it is. And only a couple weeks after that Coiled Snake received another nerf. This one just made it take longer to charge so then he couldn't go in as quickly and because Coiled Snake at this point was by far the most used Mortis star power because it carried his character. Not too long later Brawl Stars tried to make his other star power more used by buffing it back to how it was initially from 1400 healing back to 1800 healing per kill and that seemed to put Mortis in a pretty decent state for a long time because he didn't receive any changes until five months later when his combo spinner gadget was added but that's less of a balance change and more of a new ability and two months after that the only change he received was being able to move while using his combo spinner gadget because at first he couldn't move while using it and now he could and later that week the rogue mortis skin was added to the game which is to this day a fan favorite of the mortis players and at this point it's almost been an entire year since mortis received any type of stat balance change closing into the end of 2020 mortis's survival shovel gadget was added to the game which again is not an exact stat change it's just a new ability so he still has not received another actual balance change for almost an entire year then finally two months later which is 11 months after his last actual balance change mortis finally received another balance change so they made it take longer for mortis to get his super using his main attack but they boosted how fast he could get his super by using his super so if he's good at landing his super on multiple targets he could get his super faster at the end of 2020 brawl stars made a change that nobody was really thinking about that much but they made it so if he hits a spawnable like nita's bear or jesse's turret with this super it would no longer heal him to make up for that they increased his super's healing by 25 percent more and in the middle of 2021 which is six months after his last balance change he still did not receive another one so he was balanced for at least six months there was no reason to change him and in the middle of 2021 the beach time mortis skin was added to the game and two months later which is eight months after his last balance change he received another change where they actually reworked coiled snake into his main kit and changed coiled snake to where it just makes the bar go up faster and the reason for this is if you're not using coiled snake whether you don't have it or you just don't want to use it it's almost impossible to win because it's extremely difficult to get up to your enemies without using coiled snake and they realized this after a very long time so they made it so then he always has coiled snake so then any mortis player at any level can finally close the gap and that issue was finally solved. Since Mortis had Coiled Snake at all times, even without the Coiled Snake star power activated, players started using Creepy Harvest because they could combine the insane amount of healing with the ability to close the gap. So when people started doing this, it proved to be super overpowered and the amount of healing he got was too much. So for the second time, they reduced Creepy Harvest's healing from 1800 to 1400. And only three months after that, they reduced it from 1400 all the way down to 1000 where it still is today. But I think it's funny how it had the exact same changes that it did in the past went back up and went straight back down also in this same update to incentivize people using coiled snake itself more they made it so then it makes the coiled snake bar go up even faster when you're using the coiled snake star power in october of 2022 the mecha mortis skin was added to the game and that everybody is the final change that mortis has received so far it seems like mortis was a brawler that needed a lot of play testing and a lot of changing to finally get to the right spot he was either way too strong or way too
into weak and sometimes he found his way in the meta, but any little tweak could make him the best brawler in the game or the absolute worst brawler in the game. I think currently Mortis is pretty balanced right now. I don't think he needs that many changes at all. And it may have taken about four years to get to that point, but I believe that Mortis is super balanced right now. Besides the fact that Gale exists.